Today's technological and scientific advancements have helped archaeologists to better understand our history. In some instances, though, these discoveries raise more questions. Using LiDAR technology to create three-dimensional renderings, it is entirely possible to find ancient civilizations that have remained hidden beneath the Earth for thousands of years. On the other hand, some of life's mysteries fall from the sky when we would least expect them to. There are even times when the most remarkable discoveries are hiding in plain sight, just waiting to be found. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three interesting discoveries. Impact Crater Mysteries Our moon features a gigantic crater. This hole has been on our moon for billions of years, since an unknown object hit the dark side of the moon. We have measured this crater to reach 1550 miles in width and 8 miles in depth, and so have dubbed it one of the largest craters within our solar system. The presumed explanation for decades was simply that this crater was formed when contact was made between the moon and a rapidly paced meteor. If this had been the case, then there would be pieces from the inside of the moon on the surface possibly available to examine. Some new insight was provided in January 2019, when the U-2 rover was sent to the moon from China, which reached the bottom of this mysterious crater. Minute traces of minerals were recorded by U-2 too, which appear to have come from within the moon's mantle. In a turn of events, new data came to light within August 2019, from a study published within Geophysical Research Letters. After an analysis was conducted upon the materials found at the bottom of this peculiar crater, it revealed evidence suggesting that the crater was composed entirely of crust, with no mantle. The crust is the outer layer surface of the Moon, with the mantle coming just underneath that, similar to Earth. This would imply that an object collided with the Moon with enough force to open a colossal crater but with not enough force to release any of the mantle onto the surface of the moon. Co-author of the new study, Xiao Zhang, planetary scientist working at the China University of Geosciences, explained how the team had anticipated finding the mantle materials at this landing site. He goes on to explain that the lack of mantle organisms rules out the possibility that a meteor traveling with high velocity had caused this crater eliminating an assumption we had been acting upon for decades. This study employed the use of spectroscopy in order to clarify and identify the minerals that had been found within the lunar soil. This process observes how each grain is reflected within both visible and near-infrared light. This study was carried out using the equipment U22 was already armed with, performing these reflection tests on six different areas of soil ranging up to approximately 175 feet away from the landing site. An already established database allowed each mineral to be identified based upon size, reflectance and degradation, which often occurs as a result of solar wind. Within every sample, it was evident that the primary mineral in the moon's surface is plagioclase. We know this is common in the crusts of Earth and the moon but that it isn't likely to be found within the mantle. This mineral composition supports the meteor theory, but then the unanswered question remains as to what created this crater. If it were a meteor, then why aren't there chunks of mantle over the surface? The Strange Stone In 1908, a Canadian newspaper article detailed an amazing story of a meteorite that might have contained evidence of alien life. The article stated, Willie McKinnon, the 14-year-old son of Mr. Angus McKinnon, underwent a most startling experience and had witnessed a miraculous event last Thursday. The article goes on to state that whilst working in his father's garden, Willie saw a meteor fall from the sky and embed into the ground just eight feet away from where he was standing. The meteor was around 10 inches wide and reached McKinnon's garden at roughly half past 11. Apparently, the meteor created a noise that was heard for a number of minutes before it reached the earth. Thinking that the sound was simply coming from a nearby train, 
Willie thought nothing of the noise until the impact caused something similar to a small earthquake on the ground he was standing on. The boy was naturally greatly alarmed at the occurrence and rushed into the house to acquaint his parents with the very strange happening, the article said. On visiting the spot, it was found that the meteor was intensely hot, and not for over half an hour could it be handled. This is where the story begins to make eyebrows raise. According to the article, the meteor appeared to be scored with what appears to be hieroglyphics. It was later reported that the Department of Mines Geological Survey in Ottawa sought to gain more information from Willie and his family in regard to the apparent meteoric impact, and sent Willie a questionnaire requesting answers to various aspects of the crash site. The questionnaire also included an offer to buy the meteorite, if an agreement could be reached. However, it is not known if this ever took place. Apparently, Willie's father, Angus McKinnon, had a reputation as an argumentative man. The truth behind the mysterious stone that fell into the McKinnon garden seems to have been lost to history. Michigan man discovers his barn doorstop is actually a meteorite worth $100,000. In your home, there are many objects that slowly become part of the furniture. Whether it's a dusty chair or an old picture frame, there are probably dozens of inconspicuous things hiding where you live. This story was a familiar one to a man from Michigan who, in 2018, miraculously discovered that the two-pound lump of rock that had been used to prop open a barn door for more than 30 years was, in fact, a meteorite. The meteorite is thought to have landed at some point in the 1930s at a farm located in Edmore, Michigan. The man who discovered the space rock came into its possession after he bought the farm at an auction in 1988. But it wasn't until 2018 that the true nature of the rock was discovered, after bringing the rock to the Central Michigan University for study. The rock was placed into the care of Mona, a professor of geology. While the professor had been given plenty of rocks in the past by members of the public, the professor could never have expected what discovery lay ahead. After an inspection, Mona quickly discovered that the meteorite is in fact the sixth largest ever found in the state of Michigan and could be valued at $100,000. She went on to speak about the find from a statement made by Central Michigan University. I could tell right away that this was something special. It's the most valuable specimen I have ever held in my life, militarily and scientifically. When the man who brought the rock for study originally bought the farm in 1988, he was initially told by the previous owner that they had seen the rock fall from the heavens during the 1930s. According to the ex-owners of the farm, the rock made a hole upon impact, and when they went to find the rock the next morning, it was still warm. After the farm was sold to the current owner, the rock went on to become a doorstop for the next 30 years. But after people in Michigan began to discover meteorites in January 2018, the owner wondered if the claims of meteoric character of his own specimen were true. By using X-ray and fluorescent technology, Mona discovered that the rock is made up of roughly 88% iron and a remaining 12% nickel, which is a metal that is not found in abundance on Earth. After sending a sample of the rock to the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., experts studied the rock and confirmed Mona's suspicions that it was in fact a meteor. Another sample was also sent off to John Wasson, a professor in the Earth, Planetary and Space Sciences Department at the University of California, Los Angeles. Often described as the guru of iron meteorites, Wasson went on to conduct several inspections and measurements to help identify the meteorite's chemical composition. Meteorites are bits of debris caused by breakage of larger comets and asteroids. They are pulled in by the Earth's orbit, mostly breaking up in the Earth's atmosphere before colliding with the ground. Larger impacts are not too common, but thousands of smaller meteors, like the 30-year-old doorstop, hit the surface every year. These rocks are like time capsules for our solar system as well as the universe as a whole. By studying space debris, Scientists get a better understanding of our place in the universe. Mona stated, Just think, what I was holding as a piece of the early solar system that literally fell into our hands. <laughs>